what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. If you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video. A while back, I asked you guys on my Instagram stories, what videos do you want to see more of on my channel? And a lot of you guys said beauty. So here I am doing a first impressions on products that have just been so highly talked about within the past few months, whether that's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I've just been hearing so much about all of these products and I've just been itching to purchase them and try them out myself. There are a couple products that I got just because I was on the Sephora site looking at some new products, but majority of them you'll definitely have heard of before. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so because I share beauty tips, a lot of hair hacks. Sometimes I'll just be doing my hair and I'll turn on my stories and just talk to you guys. So go ahead and follow me. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And also all of the products will be linked down below so let's get on into the video first I wanted to go through all the products that I bought recently from Sephora and then we'll get started on my makeup starting with the Cora Organics turmeric glow moisturizer Patrick Ta major sculpt cream contour and powder bronzer duo Huda Beauty baby bake Ilia limitless lash mascara rare beauty cream blush Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze some single shadows from hourglass the infamous Charlotte Tilbury contour wand Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. Then I just got two hair products, which I probably won't show in this video, but I still wanted to share with you. This is the new Gizu Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner, and this is the Olaplex Bonding Oil. Both of these products have been so hyped up on social media, so I'm finally trying them out, and I will definitely report back on the vlogs and Instagram stories, so go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. It's so underscore gnarly, and let's get into the makeup. Before this, I did a Rael face mask, just because I really wanted to be super hydrated for today. And now we're gonna use the Cora Organics face cream. They have a turmeric like exfoliating mask that I'm obsessed with and I actually restocked that. So I was like, okay, I need to try this out. Turmeric is supposed to help like even out the skin and I feel like that is my main issue is like just patchy, dry kind of skin and it's very uneven so we are going to give this a try. It feels very luxurious when you're putting it on and it does have a scent to it, but it honestly doesn't bother me. I kind of like the scent. I barely took anything off of this lid and it covered my whole face. So I'm very happy about that just because I think this was a very expensive product and I don't want it to like, you know, be used up in just a month. Also, this packaging is just so luxe. I'm putting some primer on. This is from Rare Beauty. And then I've actually been using my Makeup Forever HD stick, foundation stick thing. The Charlotte Tilbury foundation that I like is just like a little too orange now. I definitely want to get another color in that. I think I'm going to wait till the fall where like, you know, I lose all my tan and so I can get color matched pretty accurately. Um, but this is what the foundation stick looks like. It is just such an easy, fast thing. And I think that's why I've been really gravitating towards it because Yes, I did buy all of these makeup products that will make my makeup routine much longer, but for some reason I just hate putting on foundation and anything that can make it a little bit quicker, I will try, so. My mom was actually the first one who showed it to me and this is like what I would put if I had like a little scab or like a pimple in like middle school or high school. I don't even know when I started wearing makeup, honestly. But yeah, I never really used to wear concealer. I would just put that and just blend it out. Bear with me if there's like lines that need to be blended because it's sometimes hard to film your makeup routine and have it be like super perfect just because I don't have like a mirror in front of me. Next, we're moving on to concealer. This is one I've been using for a while, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender and take it on my eyelids as well. I added a step to my makeup routine recently and that is to prime my lids. This is actually from Sephora Collection. It's just an eyeshadow primer and I do a little swipe and a swipe. Then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. I always forget to say what color I am and everything. So starting off with the Makeup Forever stick, I am Y445. And then for the concealer, 
I am golden beige. Next up, we have a Fenty Beauty blush, which actually I did buy recently. I don't know why I've been like on a kick to just try new products at Sephora, but it makes me happy because I feel like I used to love playing with beauty products. And then I randomly was just like, I don't even care. <laughs> like I'll just do the same makeup every day, but I've been really into it recently just because there's so many out there. And I'm like, okay, I need to try them all to see what I like. I feel like my makeup looks good, but then I see all these beauty gurus on Instagram, all these Insta baddies, and their face is just like flawless. And I'm like, okay, I feel like I could do better. So anyways, I'm always looking for new products to try. Again, this is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the color Rose Latte. And I just take it on my finger and put it right here. I absolutely love this color of blush. I kind of wish they had like a powder and cream duo like the Patrick Ta does in that color because I would die. For contour, I got two new products because both of these have been just talked about so much on social media, just like those freaking hair products are. I'm the type of person that gets easily sold on any product over the internet. That is why I have two contour products right now. This is a contour wand, more of like a cream based kind of thing. And then this Patrick Ta duo is almost like that cream blush. It's like a cream based thing, but it's a little bit harder if that makes sense. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, how do I open this? The Patrick Ta one is in the color She's Chiseled, and for the contour wand, I got it in medium deep. I'm kind of leaning towards this to try out today just because I want like a really defined contour, so let's do it. I'm honestly a little nervous just because it looks so dark, that cream one does, but here goes nothing. It's honestly not that dark. I actually had a similar product to this, my Huda Beauty Tantour Contour Bronzer thingy, but it's just such an old product. I don't even know when products expire, so it's definitely probably expired, but I still love that product. I just really wanted to try this duo because now that traveling's ramping back up, I'm just trying to consolidate all of the packaging in my makeup bag. It's kind of nice that this is just like an all-in-one cream and powder. I think I need to find a better brush for this. I feel like it just needs to be blended out more. I wonder if the beauty blender would do the trick. I love this color for the nose. It's like the perfect shade of just like a shadow, if that makes sense. Also need to do the forehead and then under the chin. So this is what it looks like. And now we are going to go in with another cream product, the Rare Beauty Cream Eyeshadow in the color nearly neutral. I feel like all of them were so pink and I would have loved to see more of a brown, like just like a more neutral pink even. This one was definitely one of the darker shades. I always see people with like pink lids and I think they're stunning. I do really like this mirror on the Patrick Ta Duo. It's like large and I love it. I got another beauty blender, so let's blend this shadow out. I think it's such a pretty base. I kind of want to do another layer and see if it makes it a little bit more opaque just because since I blended it out, I feel like it's very diffused. Honestly, I wonder if I even need an eyeshadow primer if I'm going to be using this as a base. I don't really think that the second layer did that much. You really have to work fast because I feel like it's not moving around too much where I like want to blend it into the like crease of the eye. This is going to be amazing for the days where I don't have time to do like all the blending and like use a billion different eyeshadows because I feel like if I use this, an eyeliner and mascara, I'll be good to go. Praying that they come out with more colors, especially like more of the browns and the neutrals because I would love to see that. Now it's time to set the face and I was so intrigued by this because it is so mini and I freaking love it. It's gonna be perfect to take in my purse and that's the main reason why I got it but I definitely want to see what it can do for my baking needs because I've actually never used a Huda Beauty um, powder before. I like, how the heck do I open it? Okay. It has its own little puffer in here and then the powder just comes out like that. So I'm guessing you have to do kind of like this thing and get some powder out. I got this in the color banana bread. It definitely smells like a floral, like clean scent. I went over all the areas and I still have kind of like this dewy look to me. And usually powders just like mattify you. I'm not sure if I like didn't do enough or 
if that's just how the powder is but I honestly really like it like I've always wanted to look dewy but then I didn't want to look oily throughout the day but honestly now that I have that to go in my purse I don't really have to worry about that now it's time to add to the eyes so I got these single shadows from hourglass as you can see I like my browns and my neutrals this one is more of like a warm brown I'll put the name of the color on the screen because I can't remember and it's already in there and we have this color a little bit of a darker brown but still in that warm family then this last color is a shimmery shadow but it's like a dark brown i did have to buy this case separately and i'm kind of upset that they don't have a mirror because like if it came with it i wouldn't mind but i literally had to buy it separately like so stupid just putting that lighter brown shadow in the crease honestly i feel like i did not even need these shadows like that that pink shadow, the cream shadow, looked really good on its own. I totally meant to zoom you guys in when I was doing my eyeshadow, but I guess better late than ever. I'm actually going to take the darker color and put it under my lash line. I feel like I did a very simple look on my eyeshadow, but I love it. It looks so blended and just like very clean looking. I'm going to go ahead and try this shimmer shade. It's pretty, but I don't know if it was like meant for this look. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all, but I feel like I really liked the... Just like the blended eyeshadows all together, just like a clean kind of look. It's looking a lot better now that I'm blending it out. I also recently picked this brush up. It's the Pro Crease 27 and it's from Sephora. I just feel like I've been using the shittiest eyeshadow brushes lately. So I decided to invest in one and I asked the Sephora consultant like which one she recommends and she said this one does it all. I've been really liking it so far. Eyeshadow is complete. I am loving it. I don't know if it like looks as good as what I'm seeing in the mirror or like if it looks any different. I also am like loving this little duo here because first of all, I just looked down and I was like, uh-oh, like I'm going to be drying out the cream product because I'm having the mirror opened, but it has its own little case. I feel like that is so smart. And then when you're not using it, it just goes back down. That is so smart. I don't even think it was a month ago that I did my other Sephora haul, but this one was also a recent purchase. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Feline Flick, and it's the brown felt tip liner. I've just been so into brown liner lately, and I'm just on the search for the best one. I actually just purchased a Glossier Pro Tip in black because honestly nothing compares to that liner it lasts so long and i've been using this for about i don't know like two three weeks and obviously these felt liners like they look so good on your hand but when you put like eyeshadow on your lid they just don't look as good i don't know what i'm doing wrong i just did a super simple line now it is time for mascara so i think i'm gonna do the volumizing one first and then try the lengthening one. First we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. I honestly just need a new mascara and I ended up with like so many new products, but I'm not mad, I'm not mad. This brush is very interesting because it has kind of like this flatter side. So it's it's interesting, but I actually kind of like it. Like it's doing, it's doing its job for sure. Sometimes when I see a mascara has like a focus on volumizing, I always think it's gonna clump up my lashes. But honestly, this is really separating out my lashes while volumizing. I didn't even curl my lashes before putting this on and they look like really good. I'm gonna take a little break and go in with this powder bronzer from the Patrick Todd Duo. And let's see what it looks like. Honestly, I do look a little oily, so I'm gonna go back in with the powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and this is the lengthening one. But honestly, that Charlotte Tilbury one did a really good job at lengthening my lashes too. Next up, we're doing our brows. I literally just got them done, and I feel like a new woman, so I'm very excited to fill them in. I got the pen in the color dark brown. I quickly filled it in so you can see the difference of one being done and one not. You definitely have to have a very light hand with this pen because it is pretty pigmented. I do feel like my brows are a little bit dark right now, so I think I'm just going to have to play around with the product. Next is another product that has been highly talked about. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. It's made to give you that laminated brows look, so let's try. Oh yeah. My brows aren't going anywhere. This stuff is pure magic. You can't really tell just because the lady just cut my brows on top. If they were a little more grown out, you could definitely see that they're like pushed up. The maintenance guy just came in and he had a full view of me just filming this beauty tutorial. So that was really fun. But I think I need a little bit more blush. I'm gonna use the Kosas 
Longitude Zero Color and Light Pressed Blush. So I'm just gonna be using this one. I just wanna add a little on top. Just give me a little more color and I think that's gonna be perfect. For lips, I've been really liking this NYX Lingerie XXL in the color Turn On. It is more of a pinky lip, which I'm not used to, but I really like the formula of this and I think it would tie the whole like rare beauty pink eye in. Then I'm gonna take this nub of a lip liner it is Cork by MAC, and I'm just gonna line my lips. This is the finished makeup look. I'm so excited about all of these products, but I feel like my top faves have to be the Brow Freeze, the Patrick Ta Duo thing, and then of course the Rare Beauty eyeshadow. I kinda knew I would love that one, but again, I'm just really hoping that they come out with like more neutral tones, just because I feel like that would be perfect. So Rare Beauty, please. I'm begging you. All the products mentioned are going to be linked in the description box of this video. Let me know if you guys try any of these products or if you already had in the comments down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!